This share house is a long way from Robert Andrew's former life as a London investment banker, which came crashing down amid a cocaine addiction and health struggles. There I was at one point, um, flying first class to New York for the weekend. Next minute, I'm, I'm living on the street. For much of the last decade, he's lived in lodging houses. He likes his own space, but says a small room in what's effectively a share house with extra supports is all he needs. Here we go. So I guess I've got that space where I can lock the door and then I can go, oh. Robert lives here with three other men in one of 15 lodging houses run by Foundation Housing. It's a far cry from the old style of lodging or boarding houses. This apartment complex in Perth is another of Foundation's properties, which also gives people escaping homelessness or at risk of slipping onto the streets a safe place to stay with supports to rebuild their lives. It's a home, it's an apartment in a building which is being specifically designed to provide that safe and secure and long-term accommodation. The role of lodging run by community organisations now backed by research from UWA's Centre for Social Impact. So it's actually a very cost-effective solution in terms of support and the capital costs are also lower. Uniting WA runs similar types of accommodation but only for short-term stays. The bed alone is important but it's really more important that there's support there for people so that they can uh, learn to move on. Both organisations wanting the government to invest in more accommodation like this for short and long-term stays. We run these buildings without any government support, but we can't build these buildings without government support. We're open uh, to any uh, ideas, new, pro new projects that boost housing. A commitment services hope translates to funding in the near future. Kean Burke, ABC News.